Budapest is the capital of thermal springs in Europe. There are more than a hundred natural hot springs in our city, and these baths are a testimony to our history, tradition, and culture. Because in addition to medical reasons and relaxation, they're a social gathering for us. In this video, I will show you three popular and one less known thermal bath in Budapest. Some tips that you should keep in mind before you go. But first, a swimsuit, a pair of flip-flops, and a towel are all you need to bring. But keep in mind that nudity is only allowed in the Rudosh bath, which I will talk about later. Typically, the baths are most crowded on weekends. So try to get there early in the morning. Keep in mind that they open at 6 a.m. Visiting these thermal baths is a year-round activity. But keep in mind that to soak in a steaming hot water is probably the best feeling during the winter months. Most bathhouses are like labyrinths, so you should expect to get lost in them. But that is part of the experience, isn't it? This is the so-called Seicheni bath, which was opened over a hundred years ago. And it is the largest bath in our city, located on the Pest side in the city park. This is the favorite for tourists with its architecture, its huge yellow courtyard, and its three outdoor and over dozen indoor baths. To soak here in the steaming outdoor pool during especially the winter months is a memorable experience. But overall, well, in my opinion, it's more like an amusement park. There are two unique things about it though. One is that you can play chess in the water with the locals. And second, that you can purchase the healing water that is said to have a fantastic curing effects on the body. You can easily reach it either with M1, our old metro, or by taking the trolley number 72. This is the Galliard bath, which is located on the Buddha side, next to the Grand Hotel Galliard, at the foot of the Mount Galliard, that has the hot mineral springs. It was also opened over a hundred years ago. Inside, you will find a mixed swimming pool and a dozen hot pools as well as saunas and steam rooms, while outside you will find a large wave pool and also a hot tub. It has the most beautiful interior decoration of the Baths of Budapest, with Art Deco decor, mosaics, marble statues, and a gorgeous sky stained glass window through which the sun shines through. You will love it. The Galliard baths are also very easy to reach by public transportation. You can take our newest metro, the M4, or bus number 27, or trams 47 or 49 from the city center. The Rudash bath is also on the Buddha side. However, it has a very different style because it was built during the 16th century under the Turkish occupation. Today, it has kept many of the features of these Turkish baths, like the superb octagonal pool, its imposing columns, and the Turkish dome. It offers an indoor pool, there is thermal pools, a sauna, and a steam room. Keep in mind though, that while the indoor pool and the wellness area are all mixed, the thermal baths are mixed only on weekends. So on weekdays, except for Tuesday, only men are allowed in this Turkish section, who go around from pool to pool in these apron-like little cloths that cover little of their bodies. This bath was renovated very recently, and also it was expanded, so now there's a new modern wellness section. And there's something amazing. Right on top of the building, on the roof, there's a hot tub with an unforgettable view of the city. You should try it out. So the Rudash bath is located on the Buddha side, on the banks of the Danube. It's easy to reach it by taking bus number 5, 7, 8, or 86, or either trams 18 or 19. Here's a hidden gem, the so-called Valley Bay bath, which used to be the largest and most gorgeous bath in the city well, a long time ago, during the Turkish times. Nowadays, it's much less known. It was beautifully renovated just a few years ago. They kept the place's centuries-old architecture, while internally, the spa is now very modern. It has a thermal water pool, a jacuzzi, a steam room, and so much more. This bath is the only bath in Budapest that is managed by the Roman Catholic order, which apparently doesn't exactly run it for profit, making it one of the cheapest and least crowded options. 
Keep in mind though, that is only open for a couple of hours in the morning and a couple of hours in the afternoon. This bath is also accessible by public transportation if you take either bus number 9 or trams 19 and 41. Budapest is probably most famous for its thermal baths. In this video, I showed you three popular and one much less known thermal bath in Budapest. Come and try them out. I hope to see you in one of them soon.